everyone knows of the buffalo. They are one of the first species that people see when they come through our, our main entrance, and they have been in the Bronx for over a hundred years. I'm Dr. Pat Thomas. I'm Vice President and General Curator and Associate Director of the Wildlife Conservation Society's Bronx Zoo. The Wildlife Conservation Society was instrumental in, in saving the American bison from extinction. In the early 1900s, we sent herds of bison out west to repopulate bison in areas where they once roamed. The vast majority of bison alive today have some small amounts of domestic cattle genes. We've tried for a number of years to acquire genetically pure animals to establish a, a breeding herd here that could be used to provide animals for restoration programs. One way to do that is through embryo transfer. Genetically pure bison are, are just, from an evolutionary point of view, better adapted to survive in, in their habitat. So we, we did have a calf born um, via embryo transfer on, on June 20th. The calf is doing great and its mother is extraordinarily protective, uh, even for a bison. This project, in, in a way, is, is bringing us full circle because here, 100 years later, we're looking to do almost the same thing, to preserve the American bison for future generations. They are instrumental in shaping prairie communities. They are such a symbol of, of America.